this is not my typical movie-going behavior. Oh. <laughs> then again, I'm not watching a typical movie. I see the moon, canopy of trees. I'm in the midst of a thicket of towering trees, experiencing Lost, the first VR film from Oculus Story Studio. Story Studio is a collection of artists and technicians who are trying to tell stories in virtual reality. Lost tells the story of an oversized mechanical hand that's searching for its robot body. In a VR film like Lost, the viewer decides where they want to look. So the filmmaker has to create and animate every inch of the environment, whether it's the full moon above or the forest floor below. Because we are in a real-time game engine, we are rendering on the fly. And so where you look determines where we're rendering. A Pixar film is 24 frames per second. It's about 90 minutes long, and each frame for the final render takes about 50 hours for a computer to make. And I have 11 milliseconds. Still, the end result is so mesmerizing, users could get, well, lost in the film. But Story Studio uses tricks to keep pacing. Once we want you to look at the credits, we have a bird just flutter right past you. And what's wonderful is that people say, did I do that? Did I sort of, did I frighten the bird? Um, and we have audio that will draw you to the correct location to look. The studio's second film, Henry, debuts this summer. You know, Henry's this little spiky hedgehog who just wants to get a, to get a hug. He just needs to find a, he just wants to find a friend. And you know, he's too spiky for everyone. If the shorts remind you of Pixar films, there's good reason. The studio hired several Pixar alums. Others are from DreamWorks and gaming companies. The work is similar to a degree, but VR has added constraints. So everything is happening linearly around you. Uh, no matter where you look at, the characters are still alive somewhere in the space. VR has caught Hollywood's attention. Spike Jones created a VR news film. Along with enthusiasm, though, there's skepticism. Lost was criticized for not exploring VR's full potential. We don't have the technology yet, and it felt better to restrain ourselves a little bit. But I think with each new experience that we make, we will try something new. We will try to add a different level of interactivity, a different narrative device, uh, a different trick to get the audience's attention. And that's what's exciting about this, is that it feels like it's research as well as making. Every new medium has its challenges. Oculus acknowledges that motion sickness can occur, and the longer you spend in VR, the more likely you are to feel it. That could limit the length of films. With each film, though, VR inches towards the ultimate goal, a live-action holodeck-like experience that takes you to another world. An animated character looking at me, um, that's one thing. A human being looking right into my eyes, interacting with me, that is not there with me. That's a man on the moon moment. That's the first telephone call.